He is the definition of definition, and he's been in and out of IWC for a decade. While Petey Williams has many TNA X Division titles under his belt, never has he held the Super Indy Prize. Petey could break that cold streak tonight. This could be the night for little Papa Pump. Still in excellent physical condition. A man that goes to the gym religiously. And very few men combine that kind of power with the kind of speed and agility Petey brings, evidenced by that amazing Canadian Destroyer signature maneuver. I was just going to say. If he hits it, it's almost a guarantee to the second round. And this is Petey weighs in at 180 pounds, wrestling out of Houston, Texas. This man could be the dark horse that comes in and surprises everybody. Sammy Guevara made his IWC, IWC debut this past July. I believe he was 19 years old. He'd be 20 now. Sammy Guevara took facade, then Super Indy champion, to his absolute limit in a matchup that was one of the finalists for match of the year, the crowd was left on their feet. Well, let's see how he fares tonight. Sammy is in great physical shape, but still only a few years in the business. Other than Andrew Palace, Sammy would be the least experienced in the field. Petey among the most. Petey trained by Scott Demore in the Can-Am Wrestling Academy oh. in Petey's home of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And apparently they don't have handshakes in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Petey looked downright confused that Sammy was looking for a handshake there, popped him in the face with the elbow. Quick roll up for a count of two. Petey graduated from St. Clair College in Windsor some years ago. He's an educated man. He knows what he's doing. Sammy doesn't know strategy. He's full throttle in your face with athleticism second to none. Up and down quick with those leg drops. And an amazingly well-conditioned athlete. Pound for pound, Sammy may be the most in-shape athlete in the field, possible exception to Petey. So then it's good we let these two match off in the first round, find out who's the best of the best of the Very the competitive best. draw. Oh. Sammy calls himself the best ever. He's got a chip on his shoulder. He's brash, as young kids who experience success often are. There's a cover by Petey for one. This is not Petey's first Super Indy tournament. Super Indy 5, Petey went one-on-one -on -one with Matt Seidel, who went on to be uh, achieving success in WWE as Evan Bourne. Bourne won that matchup, but slightly. And now time for some patriotism. Oh, Not from you. I, I show respect to our brothers from the north. They're America's hat. Well, will Petey put a feather in that hat called Super Indy? Look at you with this segue. Speaking of which, big ups to uh, Anthony Kingdom James. We miss you, brother. Big ups for what? Being Canadian? Yeah, it's not easy. Not for him at least. Well, ask any Canadian the miserable existence that they live. And here's a Canadian maple leaf, one our one one-legged Boston crab. Into an STF. Shades of Lance Storm a moment ago, another great Canadian athlete. And now into a into a cross face, into the rings of Saturn. Notice every time Sammy releases an appendage to get to the rope. Petey will trap it. Well, and he finally gets to the ropes, and you can see Petey was looking to grab that leg into some other twisted, hellacious maneuver. Petey spent over a decade battling the best. Sammy will have to surprise Petey, will have to catch him off guard. He won't outsmart him. And Petey, who has waited eight years to get back into this tournament, certainly with something to prove. Ooh. And a good back elbow. 
No, you... And Petey gonna roll with the suplexes. Back suplex time. Just chaining suplexes together. I'm not sure Sammy's used to this level of aggression all at once. Not at all. Two and no. Sammy loves it when you play his game. High flyer for high flyer. Because Sammy rarely loses. Petey has grounded Sammy. Sammy's out of his comfort zone. This is not where you want to be. Especially traveling so many miles from Houston. In order for this, well, check this out. Sammy tried to do a squat with Petey on his shoulders. Petey countered. I think Sammy was trying to go to Petey's game of power. It didn't pay off. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't sure if he was trying to maybe reposition him or if he was just showing off. I'm not sure. Well, he calls himself the best ever. He loves to show off. Yeah, who doesn't? I mean, when you when you are the best ever at something, why not? I don't think that's been proven. That's why we're here at the tournament. Well, I mean, I'm the best ever. So at, I'm just at, I'm at just what? speaking from experience. At whatever you what, bring crocheting? to the table, if need be, hand me two needles and I will impress you. Shoulder down twice, arm I should say. If it drops a third time, Petey wins via submission. But that won't happen. No. Sammy, much like Lowrider, has traveled the roads of the United States and Mexico. He'll sleep in cars, he'll sleep outside bus stations, whatever it takes to find a career advancement opportunity. It looked like Sammy was trying to go for a sleeper there and Petey quickly moved where he was and transitioned into a headlock, but still better than being in a sleeper. Sammy attempts to turn the tide to the Enziguri kick. Sammy's had a rivalry down in his home state of Texas with another Super Indy alumnus, ACH. Meanwhile, Petey Williams a month ago in Canada in an explosive tag team matchup against former Super Indy finalist Alex Shelley and his New Japan partner Kushida. These men have faced the best in recent times. It's only prepared them for what's to come tonight. Good clothesline. And now, Sammy gonna give you the squats. There's the squats. Deceptive power by Sammy. There's a cover. And Petey squeaks out. Sammy's built very slender, but he's got a lot of muscle on that frame. And a lot of times you can overlook that. I want to say that pin, it looked like Petey was awake. He was just taking advantage of the three count, expecting he'd be able to get out. I don't know that I would second guess Sammy so quickly. Especially in their first meeting. And there's a cover for two on the crucifix pin. And notice how Petey seamlessly goes from one maneuver to the next. Into the face buster, another cover. And certainly in a night of endurance, uh, uh, you know as well as I do from following this great sport, just to kick out of a fall will take some energy out of you. And frankly, I want to point out Petey going for the pin after chaining everything together. And now going for the Canadian Destroyer, Petey signals, and Jay Worth, I think it's time to reel in the prospective prey. Sammy sees it coming. He's followed Petey's career for a decade. Twisting suplex, nicely done. Petey's offense thwarted. Can Sammy get an upset? No. Could it be Sammy's night to impress the world? Well, if you beat Petey Williams, uh, I'd say that'd definitely be impressive. That's a big if. Huge if. And Gigantic if. Doesn't get easier from there as we've documented. They only get hungrier as the tournament moves on. As both men exchange forearms and elbows, out quickening the other. Oh. Sammy met Petey with a boot, but Petey with a side kick of his own. And it's Petey with the powerbomb roll food. Uh oh Canadian Destroyer! No. Counter into the sharpshooter. Shades of another great Canadian. Petey's low center of gravity makes this makes the pain that much more unbearable. Look at how low to the ground Petey is. Oh, and he grabbed the arm. He was trying to get to the ropes. And he grabbed Sammy's arm. Oh, he, he got there. And no space between Petey's rear end and Sammy's lower back. All that pressure on the spine and the knees. Petey milked that five count in the ropes. Petey got all he could out of that sharpshooter, and you can see the effects it led to. Petey knows what, what he can get out of it, and he knows just how long he can take advantage of it. 
A veteran move by the veteran. Sammy counters. Oh. And over, nicely done. Slice bread number two variation. Got two and no. I don't know that he should have changed his grip on the pin there. It looked like he, he was worried about it and tried to shift his weight, and I think that gave Petey the, uh, the chance to get his shoulders up. Sometimes it's the split-second decisions that make the difference between a win and a loss. Petey, Petey amazing agility. The paddle counter roll, Sammy's shoulders are trapped, stacks him up, no. <laughs> Referee CJ Sensation, Super Indy alumnus of his own, Super Indy 1, oh. calls that beautifully. Petey in with a lung blower. And now Sammy out on his feet. Destroyer time. Countered. Crucifix pin got him no. Oh! Standing shooting star out of nowhere. PD had no time to prepare. And that was almost done. That wasn't PD choosing to kick out late. That was PD having to. That's an explosive amount of energy to do that. That was very impressive. The quickness and the accuracy together is almost unfathomable, but Sammy Guevara is a special athlete. And now from way up high, 450 roll through. Petey, destroyer. No. And oh. Sammy counters. Petey may be knocked out. Back of the head. And Sammy Guevara is upset, Petey Williams. Beautiful kick. What an opportunity. I said earlier, you never want your back to your opponent. Sammy got behind there and a perfectly placed kick to the back of Petey Williams' head. When I talked about Sammy having a potential breakthrough performance, I had assumed it would possibly just be a near miss with Petey Williams. An impressive showing. A very competitive showing that would plant the seeds for months to come. I did not expect Sammy Guevara to pin a former World Tag Team and X Division Champion. And I don't think Petey did either. Petey's expression tells the story, but again, begrudgingly showing respect is still respect. You can tell Petey's not happy that he lost, but he still knows what's right. And he gave, he gave Sammy the uh, the due he deserves. Sammy Guevara moves on to the second round. Sammy can change some opinions and make some headlines here at Super Indy 13.